Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another space type reaction, and this one is a very sort of what is it was what happened a week ago, what five days ago. It's a very um, current day um, thing going on basically, and it's to do with the pers. I can't ex I can't say that perseverance, perseverance rovers descent and touchdown on Mars. I was getting a lot of suggestions for this, like a lot, but I didn't actually realize this was even happening until like after it happened because I was seeing comments about it. I didn't even know this was a thing that was happening. And it is just kind of strange how I've got back into the space reactions and this has suddenly happened. And it was a huge event, a huge thing to happen. But again, I'm not too um, up to date with it. So I'm gonna just look up, I'm gonna look at this video, the actual um, landing, I guess you said, the touchdown. This video as well, again, I don't know what other videos there are out there, but maybe this will sort of describe it a bit more to me on what's gonna happen. But I'm just quickly gonna read up about it because again, I don't know much about this mission about this rover about what it's going to do i assume it's going to be sort of like scouring mars seeing what it's about like the terrain the where it can find like um, water or whatever i don't know but i'm gonna read a few things up about it but yeah this was suggested obviously for youtube but this video here was linked to me through patreon and i want to thank the guy who did link me this because there's a few people who were saying to watch this exact video but yeah if you are interested in joining the patreon links are all there i'm getting back to the getting more consistent posts on there like exclusive posts on there save my instagram links all there for my instagram my twitter if you want to follow on those closing in on 5k on instagram so that's pretty cool but yeah let's read up about this so what does the perseverance rover do more about the mission the rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate pave the way for human exploration oh so it is actually in the sort of plans for like, this is like sort of the, the start of humans actually wanting to like start moving stuff there then so they're like researching stuff and be the first mission to click um, and cache Martian rock and regolith broken rock and dust. It's curious that your rover is still working. Wait, what is this? Is this like an older version? I guess that is. Let's just look at his wiki though. Wait, how do I... Just that? Does it have a wiki? Yeah. So length 2.9 metres... Nine point nine foot six inches diameter, two point seven meters. So it's a big ass rover, which makes sense to be honest. Height seven foot three. We've got a, we've got a rover the size the size of um, Shaquille O'Neal. Goddamn, power one hundred ten watts. I want to see the price. It costs to um. For servants for um. Price. To build. Cause it's got to be a, a costly thing boy this is worth more than sports franchises oh my days it's projected to cost 2.7 million dollars of which 2.2 billion was for the spacecraft development 243 million for launch services and approximately 300 million for operations and scientific analysis for its two-year primary mission jesus that is wild but yeah, that's just a little stuff I'm looking up. Again, if you have more information on this, please let me know. Actually, actually I'm going to see it in here. I want to see what it looks like, looks like more. But yeah, if you have any more information that you rec you think I could do of knowing about, please let me know because I would really enjoy seeing that. I hope this doesn't get blocked either. I don't know if NASA are known for like blocking things because they're like a big sort of company or a corporation. But prayers, prayers that it's not going to get blocked. But yeah, let's just get into this one. Let's see... Um, what this video actually is like. I've not even seen any footage of this, so I'm intrigued to see what Mars looks like as well. This is gonna be really strange, but yeah, let's get into this one. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Applicate in the cage, shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. Oh my Perfect. God, look at, bro, this is, I mean, obviously this is Mars, the surface, but bro, this is already tripping me out. You can just sort of see how, just, Different it looks compared. Obviously, it looks a lot different to Earth. But when you actually see it from this point of view, goddamn, this does not look like a place to be. Slowed to subsonic speed, and bro. the heat shield has been separated. This allows 
both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. So this is literally part by part, bit by bit. Look at it landing, man. Fucking I'm interested in seeing what the atmosphere of Mars looks like. Is it just white? No Sky. filter converge. Velocity solution, 3.3 .3 meters per second. Altitude, 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. <laughs> bro, bro, imagine it crashed at this point. That would be... Mate, if that... Bro, that would have been absolutely nuts. If that crashed at this point, bro... The is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers of the surface. What I wonder, yeah, is how... I'm sorry for pausing a lot. How do they obviously get this footage coming back to them because obviously like Mars at certain points is so far away I don't know if at this orbit point is actually close to Earth but how can they land it because surely the videos like this is actually like two minutes behind or two or however long behind two minutes behind a minute behind but maybe it's really close to Earth at the moment so it's not actually that bad but I do wonder how that would work so please let me know about that as well. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute we are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity Bro, is about is 90 that? meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. Like, is that like dust or something? It's just a rock. It looks really like sort of like... Valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming, so, isn't it? PBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Coming down, baby. Back shell set. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. This is so tricky, bro. confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. This is a kilometer away. We have Fuck, you know, look at this. This is tricking me out, bro. Current speed is about... 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. And bang, it's about to land. We have started our constant This is so weird. Accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. What the hell is going on? What's sky happening here? has started. About 20 meters off the surface. Wait, what the f... I'm getting signals so from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of so Mars. Ready to begin seeking. Bro, I can't imagine how hard that must be. Heart and hands. For the, for, for, if you're like in charge of this mission, I can't imagine because you fail this, you are going to get, I mean, by the company and by people and general, like the general public, bro. So this must be a tense ass job to say the Seeing least. Seeing the of past life. Look at them, man. I'm actually going to look at another one. I swear that was another video that I saw. Um, let's just search. I, I still want to watch the other one that I've linked. But I just want to search and see some footage from ours. I swear that was like a minute video that I saw. A one minute. Yeah, this one. But this is going to be crazy. If, oh my god. Bro. This is the creepiest looking atmosphere I've seen. Jesus, bro. I mean, boy, if people want to move to Mars, I rate it, but not for me, bro. Is it just the same picture? Does it change? Oh, it's just the same picture. But still, interesting, man. It's so, so crazy. For a picture, it's got 5 million. <laughs> 5 million views. Shows the interest, right? Really, really shows the interest. Next Breaking Bad season. But let's see this one, man. I'm interested about this one. I think I should turn the sound down a little bit. Break out the bubbly because after a seven month journey, NASA's Mars 2020 mission has successfully landed on Mars. That's a. Oh, yeah! Now, I didn't say Perseverance has successfully mission has Mars 20. 
Break out the bubbly because after a seven month journey, NASA's seven Mars months. 2020 mission has successfully landed on Mars. That's an ooh yeah! Now I didn't say Perseverance because this includes the Perseverance rover along with a couple additional experiments. And even after- Perseverance. <laughs> Perseverance. I'm so bad at pronunciation. Only a few days, the mission has already managed to raise some questions I'm and so, send oh, back some pretty uh, incredible footage. First off, that landing was a feat of engineering that took years of preparation. In just seven minutes, the spacecraft had to go from about 20,000 kilometers an hour to you know, zero kilometers an hour. On Earth, drag in the atmosphere would help with that. But because Mars's air is so thin, there's less drag to slow the spacecraft down. So the engineers oh, wow. needed a lot of equipment to stop the mission from, you know, just making a new Martian crater. That included a huge parachute, rockets, and more. But just slowing down was not the only challenge. The crater Perseverance was headed toward, called Jezero Crater, is also a bit more dangerous terrain-wise than previous missions. There are deep pits, tall cliffs, and big rocks. So there was less wiggle room for exactly where the rover could touch down. And just to make things more complicated because of the current distance between Earth and Mars, it takes 11 minutes for one-way communication and minutes. landing happens faster than that. So ultimately, our robot investigator had to pilot itself. To accomplish all this, NASA Jesus. designed new pieces of tech that allowed Perseverance to measure its distance from the landing spot and to scan the surface and navigate around any Well, that answers my question about how long it would take for the pictures to sort of come back to Earth, right? And it did this very well. The rover calculated exactly when it needed to open its parachute to safely land inside its target zone and deployed it right on time. Next, after the parachute slowed things down as much as it could, those rockets were used to get the descent stage down to a walking speed. Then, about 20 meters above the ground, a descent stage, sometimes called a sky crane, lowered Perseverance toward the Martian surface. And finally, as soon as sensors detected that wheels hit dirt, the proverbial umbilical cords were cut, and the descent stage flew off so it didn't crash into the rest of the equipment, instead <laughs> just crashed into the surface of Mars. And when we got news that 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 had happened, that's when the team at Mission Control started cheering so that's when this happened, and making yeah. us all a little I'm so confused. This also, <laughs> yes, that was actual HD footage of Perseverance landing on Mars. Wow. Once on the ground, Perseverance sent back a couple of photos to confirm its safe landing, and the science began almost immediately. Like one of those photos caught some rocks with a bunch of holes in them, and geologists are now wondering what kind of rock they are and if they can tell us anything about the area's past. A microphone installed on the rover has also sent back the first sound recorded directly oh, on Mars, shit. which for the record is a pretty quiet place. It sounds, you are listening to it right now, like wind, but like Martian wind. After landing, the next few days were spent unlocking and testing the mission's hardware, <coughs> taking a full 360 panorama, and just generally getting situated. And now, if all goes according to plan, the rover will start driving in not too long. When everything gets the go-ahead, Perseverance will begin its hunt for the chemical remnants of life amongst rocks up to 3.8 billion years old. Conveniently, Jesus. it managed to land only two kilometers from the site of a former river delta, which is a prime location for that hunt since life, as we know it, requires water. The rover will also collect small samples and store them for a future mission capable of returning those samples to Earth for deeper analysis. And the rover Man, also isn't the crazy. only part of the Mars 2020 mission. Like I mentioned, it also includes a couple prototypes. There's the helicopter named Ingenuity, which in a couple <laughs> it's got a helicopter as well. months or so will hopefully be the first craft to fly on another world. And there's also the instrument MOXIE, which will demonstrate a way future human explorers could create oxygen gas from Mars's mostly carbon dioxide air. Gas that could be used for breathing or for rocket fuel. So even as as Perseverance plans to study Mars's past, we are also prepping for the future, too. That's and crazy, NASA's package bro. isn't That's the only crazy. new arrival to Mars. On February- Humans are next level smart, man. I mean, when you sort of see the preparation they put into this, it just, it's just crazy, 10th, China's man. Tianwen-1 also arrived in Martian orbit. It includes an orbiter and a lander and rover. Wait, what? And NASA's package isn't the only new arrival to Mars. On February 10th, China's Tianwen-1 also arrived in oh, Martian shit. orbit. It includes an orbiter and a lander and rover, which are scheduled to land in the spring. And this mission will study all kinds of things from Mars's upper atmosphere to ice on the surface. The other mission comes courtesy of the United okay. Arab Emirates, and it arrived on February 9th. It's called the Hope Orbiter, and it's actually the first interplanetary mission from any Arab nation. It's being billed as Mars's first weather satellite, but besides monitoring the weather, it's also 
charged with figuring out how hydrogen and oxygen gas leak oh out of Mars. Oh my god, bro, that is crazy. Space. That will give us hints into what the Martian climate used to be like and how it ended up like what we see today. <laughs> One of the many exciting things about this mission is that Hope's orbit is way larger than any other orbit we've put a satellite in before. It ranges from 22,000 to 44,000 kilometers above the surface and oh, puts yeah. Hope far enough away that it can see the whole planet at once. Or at least one side of it at a time, for clarity. Can't see the whole. <laughs> so Hope can monitor how the weather changes on a global scale, 24.6 hours a day, seven days a week. Because a Martian day is 37 minutes longer than one on Earth. With so many oh, new sources Can of data, we're going to have unprecedented access to our next door neighbor. And besides teaching us more about the planet, that flood of knowledge will also pave the way for the day when humans finally step foot on Mars. Thanks Bro, for watching this episode of SciShow Space this is so News. If you want to keep up with the latest. I, I mean, I didn't realize it was this, like, sort of crazy. I just thought they were sort of trying to land to get a few, like, pictures and stuff. I didn't realize they were trying to get this kind of information. But goddamn. That's interesting, man. I can't wait to see more from this and see like how, what they find and how this sort of helps the, um, the sort of not the hunt, the the want to go to Mars. It's like for humans to go to Mars, man. Like you said, they're pre they're prepping. Like they're they've got machines that are trying to make sort of fuel or whatever it was he was saying, and all this kind of stuff. So I mean, you'd never know, man. It could be like within the next what, maybe not, but 10, 20 years possibly. If so, that is that's a crazy thought, man. What do you mean now what? The rescue mission is on. I've never been necessarily low hope everyone as well. I wanna see the um <clears throat> the one that I clicked. <clears throat> Let me see the comments in this one. What time to be alive, congratulations to NASA and JPL and humans. Wow, great achievement. Video quality from another planet, video quality from security camera and bank. <laughs> 120. This is so, this is actually so true. <laughs> you can't see who the robber is, man. Yo, shout out to the cameraman for risking their life to shoot this video. I always see these kinds of comments. I love them so much. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is pretty ridiculous, man. Unbelievable. I'm not crying. My eyes are just sweating. This is one of the coolest things I've seen. Flat earthers, eat your heart out. Flat earthers, eat your heart out. How can people think the earth is flat? I don't, I don't even understand, man. That's for another video, though. Seeing HD video captured on another planet is a surreal experience. It's actually crazy how they can even do it. Crazy. But yeah, man. What a video. I want to see the landing again. We did our train route to navigation. This bit tripped me the hell out. Really tripped me out. Conducting the accordion. We have started our constant This bit really tripped me out. Accordion, which means we are as well. conducting the Just suddenly, like, this comes and I was like, what the hell is going on? Now I understand what it was. But yeah, crazy, crazy thing to happen. Again. I don't know what else I could react to, react to with this um, rover, but maybe if there's a sort of like footage that comes out or things like that, maybe people want to see a reaction to that. But yeah, just let me know in the comments and until next time, like, subscribe.